Good morning guys. I'm starting today's video off in, uh, parked at a gas station. <laughs> I'm getting gas and heading to my craft market and I'm very excited. I'm nervous. Um, I set up my just my display last night and I think it looks too good. I got my um, pegboard done as well so now I just have to load in all of my other stock and then um, set it up. I've got two hours to get it set up this morning. I'm very nervous <laughs> but it'll be okay. Um, it is pouring down the rain here which really stinks. Um, hopefully people will still come out. It is inside and there's just hundreds and hundreds of vendors there so I also tried to get some footage of other people's booths and everything. But follow me along today and it's a two-day market so tomorrow as well and see how I do. Also I'm Casey. I'm the owner and maker behind Back to Eden Boutique which is my crochet business. I like to sell mainly in person during the holiday season so thought I would introduce myself as well. Seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Shine as bright as you. Even the dark days still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel. So lucky I met you and I still um, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have felt from the sky and I feel um, so lucky I met you. It's not about to come the way I feel when you walk in the room. Mm -hmm. When you walk in the room, it's not optional. It's not optional. How gravity. To you, to you. Mm -mm. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you, and I still mm, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have felt from the sky. I talk about you to everybody that I know now they all love you Cause you are the one who lit a fire The way I walk, the way I talk, you lift me high How did you flip my entire life? Everything's now upside down I was alone in this town Thought that I had it all planned But I finally
Hey guys, it's the end of day one and I wanted to just give a quick little recap and let you guys know how the day went. You guys saw me um, kind of like refilling my table as I went um, and then what it, what it looked like at the end of the day. Um, I wasn't able to refill any beanies because I didn't have any more with me. I sold, I don't know, a good amount of beanies. That was probably my best seller, which I feel like it always is. Um, luckily, I'm able to come home and I've got about eight more that I'm able to throw together. So that's good. I'm going to do that here shortly, get those made and be able to take with me. Um, as far as amigurumi, I'd say my chickens and my octos did the best. Um, it's funny because I sold that octo that I made a couple of videos ago that I said I didn't like. And it was like pink, brown, and white and I said I didn't like it. That was one of the first things I sold. Um, <laughs> so that's funny. Um, and I'm trying to think. I sold a couple of frogs. I don't think I sold any bees. Um, I sold one or two mice. I sold two of the big derby ducks. I sold them for $45 each. Um, I know a lot of people were picking them up and like looking at the price and they're like, whoa, and I put them back down. But the two people that bought them, they didn't look at the price and they, I mean, they looked at it, but they didn't, they didn't make a face. They were like, okay, and they wanted it. So that, that's my ideal customer. <laughs> I also sold the little possum, the little otter. Um, I wasn't expecting to sell them, at least the otter. Um, there was a girl that she just picked it up. She just immediately bought it. She didn't look the price. She was like, I collect otters. She's like, this is perfect. Like that is made for you and then um the girl that bought the possum she like literally screamed when she saw it so <laughs> um yeah i'm i didn't sell any like of my snugglers surprisingly i know a lot of people were looking at them um towards like halfway through the day i was trying to be more be better at like selling versus just being like hey how are you i was trying to like sell more and i think that did help um i did sell a couple of things that i probably wouldn't have sold like i made sales that i probably wouldn't have gotten if i just sat there um so i was being a salesperson without like being a car salesman um i sold two sweaters and I sold a bunch of those faux fur scrunchies by um, Cameron's Cute Creations. She has like a YouTube video on it. Those did really good. I think people really like touching them and feeling the texture and they're like, wow, these are so soft. Um, I did them with a, a mix and match deal two for eight with hair claws and that did really good. Um, but yeah, uh, it was Friday, so there was not as many people there that, there was some, a bunch of slow times, a bunch of downtime, and I'm hoping tomorrow, which is Saturday, to be way better. Um, I know a lot of people told me they were going to be coming tomorrow, so hopefully things do good. Um, like I said, I'm going to make, like, I, I can't remember if it was six or eight hats. It might be eight, I'm not sure. I just have to put the patches on them, so I'm going to do that. Um, and I'll see what time it is. I don't want to put too much on my plate. Um, I want to rest and relax too. I don't have to be there until it starts at 10. I'd like to get there somewhere between 9.15 and 9.30. Um, just to get things cleaned up. Hey guys, it is day two of the market. And as you can see, I got a little bit of Christmas-fied because they've been blaring Christmas music in here. <laughs> I just, I just, I've been caving. So I've got my Christmas tree cake earrings on. Um, I've got a sweatshirt on that says, have a holly dolly Christmas. 
And then I'm just wearing tennis shoes um, to be comfy and leggings because leggings are life. So I'm gonna go in there, restock my table a little bit, um, get my setup ready for like, you know, my money and my square card and all that stuff. And I think I wanna just walk around and look at some other booths really quick. Um, Cause I've got some time. I've got 30 minutes until it starts. So I should be able to get that stuff I just said done in like five minutes. So I'm also parked literally in the back of the building right next to the door that's near where my booth is. So I'm so excited. <laughs> it's the little things, you know. I had an old time soul Baby, we were kissing for the whole ride home Lay and make your wishes, it was all night long You told me you loved me and I sang this song I sang this song I had an old time soul
a recap of this two-day market. This was the best market that I've ever had. I had the most sales I've ever had. I made the most money that I've ever made at markets. It was great. I had a total of 147 sales. Sorry, I have a little cheat sheet here. Um, I won't share how much money I made because I don't feel comfortable doing that. But just know it's the most I've ever made <laughs> with 147 sales. That's a lot of sales. Um, and I just want to go through everything that sold. I was going to tell you um, like the numbers of everything that sold and what items sold out. Um, there was a couple of things I wish I definitely made more of because I think I could have sold more, but it is what it is. Um, starting off, one of my top sellers were my beanies. Um, the ones with the pom-poms and the patches on them, those do really great. I make them with my um, Addy knitting machine. It's the king size. I sold six keychains, three bees, two frogs, and one octo. Um, the beef pattern is a pattern I made up for quickly making bee keychains for market prepping. I think I'm going to share a tutorial on how I make those in a future video. I sold six uh, kid or toddler size purses, um, two knit ear warmers, which those were from like two seasons ago that I made. I'm just trying to get rid of them at this point, so I was glad I sold two. <laughs> I sold 17 of my cup cozies that had patches on them, and then I sold two cup cozies that don't have patches. I only brought four, I think. Um, so two out of four of the plain ones is good. So they do sell even if you don't have the patches to put on them, so if you're wondering. Um, with Amigurumi, I sold four of the bees. Um, three leggy froggies, 12 maple chickens, and I sold out of all of these speckled ones, the ones that are like white and cream with that blue black speckle look to them. I sold those all first, and then people started buying the other ones. I sold one little mouse. Um, I sold six turtles, and that was all the turtles I brought. I wish I brought more. I could have sold more of them, I think. The turtles were very popular. I sold five octos. One of those little cats. Um, those didn't do good. I won't really recommend that. <laughs> um, and then I sold one otter and one possum. Um, and I only brought one of each. I wish I would brought more. Definitely wish I would have brought more possums. Um, because on day two, I had somebody asking me about possums. I sold 20 hair claws and 16 of the faux fur scrunchies. And I think I mentioned it in a previous um, clip, but I did do a deal on those where it was buy one for five or two for eight. And that was a really popular deal, even though there were a lot of people that only bought one of something. Even after I pointed out that there was a deal, they were like, I just want this. Um, I sold two of my cotton round packs, which are like three, a set of three cotton rounds. Um, I've just been trying to get rid of those. I sold one of my large gnomes with arms that was holding a pumpkin. I only had one with me. I sold three of the small gnomes and I sold two small pumpkins, which I I only had two. I wish I would have brought in way more pumpkins. Um, fall stuff, even though it was a Christmas themed market, there was still people buying fall stuff. Um, those little pumpkins sold like immediately. So, um, I sold two of the Santa baby bonnets that I had made and then two other baby bonnets. I need to replenish my baby bonnet stock. Um, I'm down to just like really random sizes, missing sizes. I just need more, a lot more variety there. Because I just like to make bonnets and then just have a stack of bonnets for people to go through. Um, I sold my Penelope Petal doll. Um, I sold two bunny snugglers. I brought two. I sold both of them. Um, 
I bought, I sold two of my moose snugglers. I brought two of those and they both sold. And I got an order for moose snuggler as well. Um, the moose snuggler is definitely the most popular <laughs> of them all. I feel like that between the moose and the duck, they're the most popular. Um, I sold three out of six of the Derby Duck stuffies, the ones that were $45, the big ones that you see in the video. Um, and the ones that sold first were the, um, the like white and cream ones. Those sold first over the um, mallard looking ones. I sold my one chameleon stuffy. I sold my one dino snuggler. I sold three of the Hexi uh, Cardi toddler sweaters. Um, I brought four of them and I sold three. I thought that was really great. I was really surprised that I sold almost all of them. Um, so I definitely want to make more of those. They're really great for using up scraps too. And um, that was all that sold. I wanted to note that I didn't sell any blankets and I didn't sell any um, pillows either. But I, I did get a lot of people taking my information for um, future, like wanting to buy baby blankets in the future or anything like that. So even though some items like the big stuff like that doesn't sell, you're still getting your um, name out there for people for in the future that might want to like do custom orders. Yeah, that was my best market um, I've ever done. Um, definitely going back and really considering getting um, a double space and trying to even do more and do more um, Christmas, Christmas themed items. Um, it was definitely geared towards Christmas items. There was a lot of people selling Christmas decor and Christmas gifts and it was selling. Like, even though it was late October, people were buying Christmas stuff. Um, and this might not apply to your area. Um, you'd have to do some research, but in West Virginia, um, where I live, it's the West Virginia is the top state for like Christmas spirit. So people here love Christmas. Everyone goes out for all out for Christmas. Like Christmas is super popular in the state of West Virginia. So um, I'm not surprised that a Christmas market does really good in October. If you live somewhere where the Christmas spirit is super low, your Christmas markets probably aren't gonna do so good. But if you have a lot of people that love to celebrate Halloween where you live or Valentine's Day where you live, then you're gonna have um, better chances of getting more sales at those markets versus a Christmas market. I wanted to give a few tips because this was such a great market for me. Um, I wanted to be able to share, you know, what I think helped me and um, helped me get a bunch of sales. Um, so first of all, have a card reader, spend the money, um, get one. I have the square card reader that also has the um, chip reader and it's tap as well. That's a good investment. Um, it was, wasn't was very much money. Highly recommend. Um, I also recommend just making sure your booth looks uniform and pretty and approachable. Um, I recommend that you be approachable and you you know, sell your products a little bit. Like, you don't have to be a car salesman, but you should at least, you know, hype your products up. And lastly, make sure you have um, nice packaging for your products. Uh, I try for the most part to have um, signage up with prices on things and then also tags with prices on those items. Um, and also, tags that say what the item is because some people they're they'll pick something up and they have no clue what it is and they're just gonna put it back down they don't want to just be like hey what is this they're gonna put it back down but if you have um clear packaging that says like what things are um people are more likely to purchase something 
or just keep looking at your items to want to purchase. Um, people don't want to ask what the price of things are, so make sure that's clear on everything. And then also, I like to have things packaged so that it looks nice when you're gifting it to someone as well and your business name's on it so that if someone's gifting it, those people could also follow you on your social medias. Um, that helps a lot. So I hope these little tips help.